Good morning, YouTube. I am a jam and a bomb. Give me just a sec. Nice, but um, yeah, I'm here to bring to you a new deck, which only two people I've seen so far, which is Scapegoat User and I think it was Emma Blue Eyes Ten. Yeah. Um, basically, it's a deck I built in about 15 minutes, so it is going to be very, very etchy, and I don't, I can't find most of the cards I was using in it before. But I decided to rebuild my Elemental Hero deck. Because I just liked the fact that um, with the amount of fusions you have for it, and that it, it can fusion very easily. And I think I am forgetting to put some cards in this, I'm not sure because I can't find my old deck list. So, and we'll just see how this one goes. Let's just do these. Go down for a sec. Uh, starting off, of course, with the monsters. We, I'm running free Elemental Hero Sparkman, just because he's. For um, four star, high, well the highest attack I think of the Elemental Hero box standards, and I'm not using any of the new ones like Neo Spatians or something like that, or Destiny. Um, well, Destiny Heroes and Evil Heroes. I don't think it really count towards the E-Hero genre, but I'm just not using any of them because I don't like the looks of them. Um, three Elemental Hero Claymans, just because of their defense, so it buys you a couple of times to arm turns during the first few turns. Um, two Elemental Hero Bacinatrix. Two Elemental Hero Avion. Two Elemental Hero Neos. Just because of, well, he's one of the highest attack point um, tribute ones. There is only one other, I believe. Three Elemental Hero Wild Hearts. Just because of the fact that, um,. With certain cards like uh, Gravity Bind, I think I'm. You think this is correct? Um, with the effect of like Gravity Bind and all that, Elemental Hero Wild Heart is not affected by them. So any cards that your opponent's going to try and use in the stall, such as um, Gravity Bind or Wall of Revealing Light, Wild Edge is not affected. So he's a brilliant one to get past some of their trap defenses. One, two, Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Just because, oh, that's what I forgot to put in. I forgot to put in Bubble Blaster. Just because of his effect, where if he's the last card in my hand, I can summon him, and if he's the only card on the field, then, um, as well as in my hand, then I can, um, draw two extra cards for some extra draw power. Got two Elemental Hero Blade Edge. I did have Elemental Hero Wild Edge at one point, but I don't know where he's gone, so that's a bit of a shame, because. His piercing ability um, is brilliant um, to start off with, and Wild Edge's effect of being able to attack every single monster on your opponent's side of the field is just brilliant. One Elemental Hero, Neos Alias. Don't know why. I, I mean, he's got a high attack point. He's one of the highest attacking Elemental Heroes, four stars, I believe. And his name is. Oh, this card is true in normal monster while it's face up on the field or in the graveyard while it's face up on the field you can normal summon it to have it be treated as an effect monster with this effect oh, so basically you bring it onto the field once if it survives that turn you can normal summon it again to bring it um, to make it Elemental Hero Neos really and one Elemental Hero Captain Gold good card, nice high attack with one minor downfall um, you have to, well it's good to get a skyscraper but um, if this card is on the field and Skyscraper is not, then you have to destroy it, so it's a bit gay, but it's good to bring out the like, field spells and all that. Right. Now for the spells. I'm running the entire Hero um, series, H-E-R-O -E and Flash. Just because, well, they are indeed good. So, if I'm running all four of the heroes, well, the hero word letters, I might as well run a hero flash just in case. You never know when it might come in handy. Also, running three polymerizations. Yes, I did get the alternate art ones just because they are smexy as hell. I have actually had one person envious of it, and and he's now envious of another person because um, both me and her have got the alternate arts, so he's going 
running too hard on the underdog. Now, most of you probably will be wondering why I'm running these. It's because most of the elemental heroes are indeed normal monsters. So if you need a card desperately, you can play down two of these or something like that. And two or one of these, and you can just, if you get a normal monster, you can draw. It lets you get out more combos and a better defense a lot faster. Which, against some of the decks I've been facing, you need them. One Monster Reborn. One Neos Force. And one Skyscraper. Now, the Skyscraper you can understand, the Monster Reborn you can understand, um, but with Neos Forces, equipped only elemental hero. Neos against 800 attack. Um, when it destroys a monster by battle and the sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster. During the end phase, shuffle this card into the deck. So basically, this stays on the field for one turn, but it's it's like Fla um, Flame Wingman's ability, so it's good. Now for the traps, which I'm only running six of, I believe. I'm running two hero barrier, two hero signal, one hero counter attack, and one dust tornado. Now, surprise, oh wait, also for the fusion, sorry I forgot. Running one Rampart Blaster. One Necroid Shaman, which I don't think I should technically have, no, because it needs a um, Necroid Shade, which has disappeared, so that can go bye bye. Um, one Elemental Hero Marina. And one Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer. Now, I did have Elemental Hero Wild Edge, Elemental Hero. Um, Shining Phoenix Enforcer, but they've both disappeared. I had them up by my TV, I dis um, disassembled the decks, put them back in the fusion section of my drawer, which you've all seen probably one of your, or one of my previous videos, and it just vanished. Which I'm actually getting a bit concerned about, because I've noticed over a period of the last couple of months, a lot of my cards have been missing. And it's come to the point where I've like, I've gone to find the cards and all that, which I saw in there when I was when my mates were around, and they ain't there no more. So it's actually getting to the point where I'm becoming really suspicious of and really cautious about who I let around my cards and that now. I've actually um planning on getting like a safe or something like that to lock my cards in, so only I can access them whenever someone wants something. Because I'm getting real sick and tired of looking through my cards finding out they're slowly disappearing and it's the card that I actually need. So it's actually beginning to annoy me now. But um, that's that would be a wrap for another video. Maybe. But anyway, that's the Elemental Hero deck. Now surprisingly for what this is and the amount of cards I'm missing, this played ab abnormally well. It was facing my Flaming Seaman deck and the only reason it failed is because I could only attack with Elemental Hero Bacinatrix because Scapegoat user who was testing it with me, um, I believe Emma Blue Eyes 10 was watching in the wings. Um, the only reason it failed so miserably is because of level limit area B and he had a gravity bind in the wings as well so I'd need Wild Edge for that one. But that's basically it, that's the only reason it failed. I mean, without that kind of um, like attack negation or defense, then, you know, no, it's my stand goes to the chance. I mean, I can reach 3,100 attack points, if that. Uh, so, yeah, it could be a good deck. I mean, I'm going to have to test it out again against another deck which doesn't revolve around stopping level 4 monsters attacking. But, we never know. But also, I'm going to be rebuilding my Spellcaster deck also seeing if I can throw in a couple of synchros in it because I've been told that I have to get started to getting used to the whole synchro genre so even though I hate synchros because what's wrong with a good old polymerization seriously but I've been told I have to get into it so I'm going to try and build over the next few days a I might just build a synchro deck but I'll need a way to make it quick draw which I'm not too sure like I don't have too many of the latest cards but I'll see what I can do I mean, I might be able to come up with something, you never know. Anyway, I better stop ranting because, you yeah, know, this isn't a random video, it's a deck profile. And I shall catch you later. Peace out, YouTube.